is possible, which is hard. All that running around made you tired. You breathed heavily. You didn't know whether to keep your flashlight on or off. None of the notes so far provided that information. You could check through them again. You didn't have a clue if you found them in order. But did it matter? What if it did? At first you thought you knew why he was after you. Your eyes, your lips. All the things he didn't have, you did. But soon you found out that you weren't the only one. Why didn't he take their facial features? And besides, he didn't even need them. You sat in a corner of a room. The notes spread out before you. There was a drawing with just him and the tree surrounding him. You liked that one the most as it provided no information whatsoever. The less you knew, the safer you were. Sometimes you felt as if he did it for his own entertainment, as if he enjoyed it. But you got to know him more and more every time he appeared. Maybe he would have left you if you hadn't found the notes. At first he only trailed behind you. The more you found out, the more he treated you as a threat. Your flashlight started to flicker, snapping you out of your thoughts. Did he find you? This hadn't happened before every time you were so close to being whatever it was he did. You knew so little about him, but he treated you as if you knew enough to be a threat. Curiosity killed the cat after all. The light finally died out after what seemed like hours of flickering. You gathered all the notes and stuffed them in the pockets of your jacket. Standing up, you leaned on the wall. It would be easier to start running if he did find you that way. You hit the flashlight, trying to make it work. When it didn't, you indulged back into your thoughts. It didn't help to get rid of them, if you can get rid of them. But it did calm you down. For a millisecond, the light flickered on. You kept staring at it as if that would make it work. It did. Your lips twitched to a smile. You felt less lonely in the light. Your eyes followed the beam. It led them to a black tie. You were too scared to swipe the smile off your face. You had frozen. As your vision started blurring, you came back to your senses running as fast as you could, back to the same way you ended up in that room. When you were finally outside, you turned to the door you'd come out of to see if he was behind you. You sighed in relief, seeing that he wasn't. You walked as silently as you could, inspecting every tree for a note. You were in his territory. One of his names was the tree man. Every time your foot crunched a leaf, you looked back. Every single noise startled you. But you knew that it was silence you should fear the most. But you couldn't bring yourself to. You saw something white on a fat, leafless tree. A note. You frowned. You didn't want to read it, but you had to. When you reached the tree, you took the piece of paper off. Don't look, Don't look or he or will he take, you. take you. Don't look, or he will take you, it read. You stared at it. That's all you had to do? Not look at him? But then you realized. He was right behind you. There was an urge to disobey, to turn around and face your fear. You turned with your eyes closed, dying to open, to analyze.
is his blank face. You felt he was gone, that you weren't able to disobey anymore, and so your eyes fluttered open, but there he was. It was terrifying, yet you couldn't look away. It was unlike any other face you'd seen, but as every second passed, it all became less visible. The lines became less distinct. And then finally, you couldn't see. <laughs>